Air Clashers, and welcome back. And today, yes, I'm bringing you yet another recruiting video. So yes, the other day I brought you guys a video about re WHF recruiting. We are still recruiting over there. And uh, the link for that Discord is down below if you want to know more about that. Uh, check out my other video for WHF recruiting. I got a little more information in there. But for today, let's go ahead and talk about Crimson Folk. So first of all, uh, what is this clan? This is actually the clan that I started uh, back in early 2015, so almost six years ago. Let's go ahead and pull this up right here. So I started this clan. Uh, we started to get a little bit competitive, started to get into some leagues. And then in the first season of ESL Mobile Open, the team that we had out of here with a couple of extra players, we actually got to third place. And then after that, our competitive players started going other places. I also ended up going other places shortly after that with a couple of my main accounts. And uh, that's how I ended up in WHF actually. But I do still keep some accounts here. So things in this clan, they're a bit more laid back than they would be in WHF. Uh, they are still somewhat competitive over here and uh, they do use Discord for communications. But of course it's uh, two different categories of players. If you're going to be competitive, playing in the leagues, uh, all that high level stuff, WHF is definitely a place to be. If you want to be somewhat competitive, try to get that Champions Division and Clan War League and uh, do some fun wars, then this is definitely a good place for you. We are switching over to a only Town Hall 13 clan. So we are only accepting Town Hall 13s. And we are also in Masters League of Clan War League and we need some extra recruits over here to help us push up into the Champions 3 spot. So if you guys are looking for a clan to go and make that kind of push, then definitely come check us out. We do ask that people apply through Discord if at all possible. You can apply in game, but we're not gonna be able to take you in the Clan War League if you're not in the Discord. All right, with all that being said, we're actually gonna take a look at some of the attack replays I've recorded from this last Clan War League. So let's go ahead and jump into some of those replays. All right, so we are gonna start things off here with a hit from Chaos coming in with Queen Charge Hog Riders. So starting off the queen at the enemy RC here, Headhunter to help out. Early rage on the queen there, and the queen's going to be pushing down this lane uh, towards the clan castle. So the CC is actually lured out, and it looks like he's got some witches there with the ice golem. So a poison spell is going to help make quick work of those witches, and then the queen can get through that ice golem fairly quickly as well. So he's got to funnel out the queen. As soon as she takes down these uh, CC troops, she can continue on down the middle of this uh, little lane here. In the meantime, he's got the king in at the top side with the siege barracks. We're going to get that area funneled out, and then the hogs are going to come down the middle of the base. So he is waiting, getting some uh, funneling set here, also trying to get this percentage pushed up so that the uh, hog riders will be near the town hall once he hits that 51% mark. But he's got some headhunters coming in with the RC and the warden, and of course the hog riders heading in to the middle of the base. Found some skelly traps there in the middle. Heal spells place nicely. He found all three of the skelly traps around the town hall. So the hogs have got a lot of skellies on them right now, but the RC's in there. She's going to help get those skellies taken care of. Did hit that warden ability kind of early there, but he also had some miners in the bag. He sent the miners to the town hall. That gets it activated. It's also going to help get it taken care of. Another heal on the hogs. Since they're in the warden ability, the town hall blast won't be enough to take them completely down. So the heal's going to make sure they stay nice and healthy. So he's got quite a few hogs left, still has some miners left. They're going to work through the last of these defenses. The queen just now went down in the middle of the base. He is going to get a healer swap off of that though, so not really a huge loss here. Still has that RC ability and not a whole lot left of the base. And this will be a triple here for Crimson Fog. Next up, we've got Archie the Great coming in with a hybrid attack. So starting off with a blizzard here, actually going for the uh, Clan Castle Scattershot area. So a couple balloons. He had some super wizards on defense, which is an interesting choice here. But there's the invisibility. There's the rage getting the CC down, getting that Scattershot down, and should be able to get that single Inferno as well. So the wizards are working through. They are going to get that Ice Golem here shortly, I believe. They do get the Inferno Tower down. There goes the Ice Golem. They got the enemy king down as well very quickly too, but uh, that's going to be it for them starting the queen off here at the 3 o'clock corner. She's going to be able to walk all the way down this side, no problem. Uh, she doesn't really have any heavy defenses on her at all going through there. Uh, we are going to see the king coming in down here at the bottom as well, and then basically just shooting the hybrid in 
um, behind the king and the queen and then partially into the town hall as well. So there's the rage spell for the queen. We are going to speed up this entry just a little bit because he is being patient with the queen making sure the pathing's set. So the king's coming in now, a couple of hog riders in behind to help push through some of these defenses. And uh, the rest of the hogs are in with the king. Now it's just basically a, a mass minor army which is going to come in here before too long once this corner is uh, cleared up of buildings. So the queen is getting through that scatter shot. A couple of super wall breakers in so the queen could path to the, to the town hall if she wanted to but a rage and a freeze a couple of miners over there get the town hall taken down now it's just a matter of basically just pushing around the rest of the outside of this base so the miners are working through with the queen the healers are going to swap off the queen now still has the rc ability still has the queen ability everything working through towards the top side of the base we're going to go ahead and just keep it on 2x as they kind of wrap around here a couple of defenses left we do have a bomb tower and an expo but really there's just a lot of troops on the field here and a nice job by archie getting the triple All right, here we have Augustus coming in with a Blizzard Lalo. So we're gonna see the balloons coming in down here towards the bottom, tanking for the blimp, trying to get that blimp in between the uh, compartments here, basically in that little empty area. So there's the rage, there's the invisibility. Blimp drops and we're gonna be able to get the town hall here as well as the scatter shot. And I can't remember if they get that multi inferno or not, but there's the town hall, it is gone. The wizards are going to step up, finish off that scatter shot. Let's see what else they can reach. I think that's going to be about it for those guys. So still pretty good value. They did trigger the tornado trap at the last second there as well. So the tornado is out of the way. RC is going to come in, finish up that south compartment, and then the king and queen are going to come in and work on these ice golems. So the poison was used there, get a little bit of damage on those ice golems, but of course they're going to continue on. We've actually got the uh, Lalo coming in now from the uh, bottom right side, king and queen coming in at three o'clock. They're going to be able to go in and get that enemy RC taken care of, freezing up the queen and the multi there, warden ability used, headhunters are in for that queen, she goes down. So now we've got another ice hound flying over the top, that scattershot is distracted there, and the scattershot goes down, eagle should be going down next, king's going to pop his ability, finish off those ice hounds, the warden actually sticks back here with the king it looks like. But the Lalo is still moving around on the top side. The only real threats for the Lalo at this point are the uh, Wizard Towers and that Multi Inferno. Freezing up that Multi. Still has one more freeze in the bag for these troops. There's a Haste as well. Hasting into that Multi, getting it taken down. And we've got one more Wizard and a couple of Teslas on the back end. But not a whole lot here to deal with. Queen's still working around the top side. Got a Baby Dragon up there to help out some of these uh, Ice Pups as well. They're going to help out on cleanup anyway. And then uh, everything's going to start coming together down here towards the back side of the base. King's still working through, breaking through walls, trying to catch up. A whole army of barbarians down here with the warden. Going to work through some of these trash buildings and then work through some of these Teslas as well. We're going to speed up the cleanup and Augustus able to pick up a nice triple. We're gonna go ahead and watch one of my hits honestly I was just having some fun with the attacks this week in this uh, masters one division but starting off with the hound from the bottom I'm sending the blimp the goal is to get all the way to the eagle and honestly as long as the scatter is distracted I think I have no problems and there we go it does take a big chunk from that warden statue but it makes it all the way to the eagle and now I've got the blizzard doing its work in there eagle is down we are going to get the expo down. Scatter shot does not quite go down, neither does that Inferno Tower, but they are pretty heavily damaged. Now my wizards are just kind of stuck. I go ahead and drop the last invisibility spell. They get out of that wall, they take down the uh, Inferno and the Scatter, and then they get the Town Hall down to about half health. And then from here I just do my Super Go Wipe. It's uh, pretty easy. I'm going to start off on the right side, I believe. And then I always start off with a Golem on the corner, put the uh, Super Wizards behind it, and that makes the funnel. I'll do the same thing up the top side and uh, just push everything into the middle. I've got the two super wall breakers. I can get through the uh, first two layer of wall, no problem. And then I just use the jump spell wherever I feel like I'm going to end up needing it. So I do have the super wizards up here. They are uh, working on the enemy king there. The golems tanking the king while the wizards kind of take him down. And then everything can kind of push into the middle of the base here. There's the second super wall breaker. Everything's going to work in towards the town hall. Unfortunately, since the town hall is activated, I do have to use some freezes on that to keep it frozen and keep it from doing too much damage to my troops here. 
This time I use the Warden's ability. It's going to keep everything, of course, invincible. The Queen's going to step up and finish that Town Hall off, so it's not taking all my Wizards down. So Town Hall is down at this point. A couple of Wizards kind of break off over here with one of the P.E.K.K.A.s. The P.E.K.K.A.s at low health, and now the uh, Wizards are at low health as well. Over here I've got quite a bit still alive. I've got the King just use his ability, and then I use that jump spell there. And I still have the RC. I believe I've sent her in at this point. Yeah, she's working her way down. And she still has her ability. Queen still has her ability. Still have a freeze that I don't need. Let's go ahead, clean, uh, speed up the cleanup. And this base is crushed. All right, this is going to be the last replay for this video. And there's actually a hole in this base, so Babe Lincoln's going to be coming in with a super wizard bomb, but without using a siege machine. So there's the rage, there's the invisibility, there are the wizards, of course the two barbarians in beforehand to check for any traps there. Another invisibility down, we've got the eagle down, we should get the uh, scatter shot as well, not quite, but almost getting that scatter shot down. We do get this inferno tower down with the air defense, so a good little chunk of the base down because of that hole in the base over here by the eagle. And now the rest of the army is going to come in. He's going to start the queen over here at the 9 o'clock corner. I believe he starts the king and the siege barracks down here at 6. And then just basically hybrid in between those two spots. So the queen is working on the hound out of the CC. Poison's down to help with the pups. So they should go down pretty quickly. The king is in. Siege barracks is in. And they're going to start getting that other side of the funnel set. So the queen's done with the Lava Hound. She's going to step up shortly and fight the enemy queen. She's also taking those hits from the Warden Statue. Nice balloon there. Catches a Seeking Air Mine. The king is finished up with the enemy king with the help of a Headhunter. He'll pop his ability soon. Here comes the hybrid into the Town Hall. And they do get a healer swap as well, which is kind of nice for the hybrid. Should keep them nice and healthy as they move through the base. So the Town Hall is activated. There's the Warden's ability. And then everything's going to start heading in towards these two scatter shots and these Expos. So Rage Spell is down while the Warden ability is still activated. And they'll move through these fairly quickly as well. Once those go down, there's not a whole lot left in the base. A few troops are going to get lost over this direction. Tornado Trap there is going to pull some hogs around. So we do have kind of a 50-50 split for the hybrid here, but everything's going to start working back together. Of course, we still have the RC ability, still have the Queen ability, and the King's nice and healthy, although he doesn't have his ability anymore. And then a couple of cleanup troops still in the bag, and basically just a lot of troops left on the field. So this base was crushed, even though he had that unfortunate split with the hybrid. If the hybrid had stuck together and went around the left side of the base, it would have been even more crushed, but still very nice job here by Babe Lincoln getting another triple for Crimson Fog. But yeah, that's going to be a wrap for this video uh, again. Any Town Hall 13s out there thinking about uh, looking for a new clan, uh, feel free to check us out. We do have a very nice friendly environment here. Uh, we do want to do some slightly competitive things over here. We do want to take Clan War League more seriously and make that push to Champions League, hopefully next season, especially if you guys join us and help us out. But that's going to be a wrap for this video. I do have lots more Clash of Clans content coming this week for the YouTube channel, so be sure to click that subscribe button down below if you're enjoying the content. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you all next time.